And then it came about where people wanted to um, learn also this idea of how to, um, you know, teach the fiqh of menstruation in a way that that the everyday Muslim woman could relate to. So not just, you know, taking the knowledge from an Arabic book and then just translating it and teaching it to an audience, but actually making it practical, making it relatable and being able to talk about um, issues that women bring up in these classes that sometimes as teachers, uh, we may even feel shy with the questions asked because we don't know how to answer them. And that's where the idea came about to form a program to produce a well-rounded teacher, a well-rounded teacher. And what do I mean by that? My idea of a well-rounded teacher is one, she knows the sacred law rulings. She knows the sacred law rulings that she's studied from the traditional texts and she's able to um, comprehend that knowledge and um, recognize, what the, recognize what the scholars were actually expressing in their books. However, that's obviously not why you're here, because I think all of us, we know the numbers, you know, 3, 10, 40, 15, there's nothing beyond that. And so for a lot of people, they actually stop there. However, we're living in a time where the internet is available and there's fatwa websites that are available. And there's also medical websites that are available. Uh, people are very clued up about medical knowledge. And sometimes what can happen is what is expressed in a fic book may not actually be the same as what modern medicine says. And that can cause a lot of confusion. And um, what can happen is when people are teaching fit courses, uh, they kind of become intimidated by the questions that their students ask because uh, all they've been taught is the secret law rulings. And they don't know, um, they don't know answers to modern day questions, even modern day fit questions. Like, what do I tell a woman that's in the state of Ihram and she hasn't done her tawaf because she's on a, in a state of menstruation? and her group is about to leave, what do I tell her? And, um, or questions like, you know, how to deal with women in your class that they suffer from waswasa. What do you tell them? How do you deal with them? Um, also knowing related medical issues, this, this can be a problem because um, in today's times, you can have doctors saying things that are completely different from what Islam says. So for example, a very common question now is, um, is the withdrawal bleeding, is the withdrawal bleeding from my birth control pill is it menstruation? Because my doctor is telling me it's not menstruation. And so this is a very, very common question. And I often get women asking me this, especially when they're on Umrah and Hajj and their doctor has told them to not worry about any type of spotting, any type of bleeding, because it's not menstruation anyways. Knowing the rulings related to that is, is a must. And also my idea of a well-rounded menstruation teacher is that she's compassionate, she's respectful, and she's dedicated. Compassionate because, um, what I've heard from many sisters is that they've learned this knowledge from male scholars and mashallah, you know, the male scholars, they, they, they definitely have put in the effort and the work to learn the knowledge, but they don't actually know what it's like to experience menstruation. They don't know what it's like uh, when you're confused about whether you should pray, whether you should fast and, you know, um, should you get up for suhoor? What, what do you do? And there's a lot of confusion and panic and anxiety over menstruation rulings. And unfortunately, sometimes because male scholars, they don't understand that, they can often convey the rulings in a way that are harsh, that are strict, that don't show any type of uh, personal understanding of what a woman is going through. And so there is a need for more women to learn this knowledge, to speak up, to be able to convey it in a way that the everyday average Muslim woman who wants to be righteous and, you know, um, do things that is beloved to Allah, that she's able to, to understand it. And also I, I put here that there, that there is a, a respect, meaning a respect for different opinions and ideas, you know, not just thinking that you learned something from one teacher and, and that's the end all, but that there's an understanding that there are different opinions out there. And, um, and also a dedication because, um, all of us were busy. There's so many things to do. There's so many things we want to do. We all have these aspirations, these goals. Um, but if you really want to do this, you have to be someone who's dedicated. You have to be someone who is going to memorize this knowledge and, and be able to, to express it to others. And so this is like the idea behind this training course is it's not just sitting in a class and reading a kitab, reading a book. It's actually sitting in an interactive class where we are going to learn the sacred law rulings but learn how to express them in a modern way. And we're gonna take modern day issues. We're gonna take modern day issues to the extent that a normal menstruation teacher, she should be able to answer, give some type of answer to this, even if it's just one sentence. 
to be able to, to guide her student. And so that's kind of like the idea of this course.